This is the Mall Patrol. It's about as tall as the Empire State Building, and it's three and a half times the length of a football field. The Moore Patrol essentially is a thank you note to Lord Morpeth, who was the Chief Secretary of Ireland from about 1835 to 41. It was estimated at the time that it had 270,000 signatures. Making it one of the largest such testimonials in existence, provided to George Howard Viscount Morpeth. I'm Quentin Atkinson, Senior Director of Global Content at Ancestry, and this is the Archival Vault at Ancestry. The content team is responsible for finding out where documents exist throughout the world that could provide discoveries for people. We then digitize records, and then we create searchable indexes. The Moor Patrol is important because it captures a group of people in Ireland pre the 1845 famine, but also because in 1922, a lot of the records documenting people within Ireland were destroyed by fire during the Civil War of Ireland. The Moor Patrol really is a census substitute for those that lived at that time in Ireland. I am Professor Terence Stooley, Principal Investigator of the Moor Patrol Project. The Morpet Roll is a token of gratitude for the reforms that have been introduced to Ireland by Lord Morpet. On the presentation of the gift itself, Morpet decides to bring it back to his home at Castle Howard in Yorkshire. And there it remains for 180 years. That is until 2009 when the Lord Morpet Roll was discovered in the Castle Howard archives. My name's Louise Walsworth Bell. I'm a paper conservator and part of the team that worked on the Morpeth Roll. Well, this is the spool on which the Morpeth Roll was rolled and it would have fitted into this chest. There are enormous difficulties with handling a document of that size. So it was really important that we would make the object handleable. Digitization has massively facilitated research. The beauty of coming to Ancestry is that I can type in the name of an ancestor I'm looking for. We search then all of the documents that we have, and if we find a match, you can click on the image and actually see that digital image. Ancestry has probably created electronic indexes from handwritten documents more than anyone else in the world. We use an overhead digital camera with lighting to highlight the writing on the page and move it a frame at a time so that we can make sure we preserve every stroke of the pen, every color variation in the parchment. At the end, after we've captured every single image, those are stitched together in a document that now appears online. I think the beauty of the digitization of the role by Ancestry is it enables access not only here within Ireland, but worldwide, so it becomes accessible. This role actually reaches out now to a much wider international community. The records that the content team at Ancestry are searching out and digitizing and range from yearbooks with photos in them to the military file of your great-grandfather as he served in World War I. Whatever the record type, our goal is to bring you the richest experience of connecting with your ancestor.